All right, guys, we're going to be looking at a video here of a woman that unalives a cat in a pretty horrible way with her foot down on the cat's. You know, I want to be careful here what I say on social media, but pretty horrible. Then I guess allegedly she proceeds to eat the cat, which I don't know. Let, let's just watch the video and then we'll get on to the investigation. What did you do? Why'd you kill the cat? Smile for me. Did you eat that cat? You know, I was thinking, why do they want her to smile for the camera? Are they just being snarky or something? Or, but I think maybe if she's accused of eating the cat, then maybe stuff in her teeth? I mean, ugh, but let's continue. Did you eat it? No, why'd you kill it? Did you guys see all this? No, we pulled up and she was just laying there with me. Did you see her eating it? Eating it. She was eating it? Yeah, she was. Can you call the Humane Society to see if they'll come pick this cat up? It's deceased. Right, okay, so this woman um, apparently, um, again, unalived and ate the cat or was proceeding to eat it. Um, seems like a pretty big issue with mental health with this woman. So, I mean, hopefully she gets consequences but also gets the help she needs. A lot of help and a... A lot of meds um but a lot of people in the comments are saying that she is um she's a haitian immigrant because people love their narratives anytime they see something anytime the person isn't white for the most part they love to spin these narratives so let's check out the comments and we'll jump into the investigation check it out for ourselves do a little research find out because i know a lot of people are saying no she's not a haitian immigrant but you know i like to do my own research so you can follow along as i do it I'm not making any claims either way i'm just you know, just follow along as I look into it. But let's check out the comments first. All right, so we got most relevant replies. Let's check out uh, most recent and kind of go from there. But it seems a lot of people, including one minute ago, she's an American, though I have read somewhere else. Um, you know, uh, this is so disgusting. You know, my question is, why is there even a question whether she's an American or not? I mean, there's a lot of mental health crises, 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 I don't know, in the, um, in the country. And, you know, there's a lot of people that do horrible things and they're Americans. Is it just because of the color of her skin or like, why is there even a question on that? Like, I mean, there should be a question on, you know, not necessarily on her heritage, but like who she is, but why is this even a thing? Um, a lot of people saying, uh, that's not even Springfield and the person saying that wasn't an immigrant. This is a crazy American citizen, not a Haitian immigrant. Uh, you must feel stupid. So, yeah, I mean, apparently they're arguing with people. So um, people were saying that she's an immigrant. But um, what's, one person says, what's the problem? People eat pigs, chicken, and cows. A little bit of a problem. Um, keep your cats inside, yeah. Uh, this is an immigrant. So, yeah, apparently there were people apparently saying something. I don't know if those comments are still there. Um I hope she'll burn in hell. I mean, I feel really bad for the cat, big animal lover here, but I hope she gets consequences. But I also hope, like I said, she gets lots of meds. Um, this is who Trump was talking about. Oh, so is that it? That Trump was talking about this um, person and referred to her as like a Haitian? I mean, I wouldn't put it past them, but is that... Um, it's not even because I don't think he's necessarily meaning to put out the false information, but... People say things and he says things and I don't know, I don't want to get political, but um, not an illegal immigrant. So yeah, apparently either Trump was saying it. I, I mean, I didn't do any research beyond this video, so let's look into it. Let's do the research and see if we can find out who she is by doing some pretty simple searches. Okay, so I did a true people search. Uh, you can see completely free search. I did Alexis Farrell in all of the United States since I didn't put a location. And there's two results. I think they're dupe results because, uh, you know, same name down to the middle initials, same age, uh, lives in Canton, Ohio, used to live, related to is all there. So, yeah, I think it's the same individual, just a duplicate result. But we'll check out the uh, results, see what comes up for it. But clearly not a Haitian immigrant or a legal immigrant or something, considering there's a listing right there. All right, I'm just in my screenshot tool. It's just a little easier, but you got a uh, Alexis Farrell, and you get Canton, Ohio, age 27, born uh, July 1997. You got a full number there. I redacted. 
You get some possible emails there, and I won't show the entire email, but you get some emails there that uh, might be her, might be relatives. I'm sure maybe the second one is her because of the date of birth year, and I don't know about the fourth one, but yeah, maybe definitely the second one, I'd say. I'll check these out in just a moment. All right, now I get some addresses I redacted, and you can see from these addresses, I mean, she's young, it's 1997, but you got addresses going back to what, like 2006, I think is the earliest, I guess 2008, 2006, so yeah, you got addresses going back to 2006. Clearly, this girl is not a an illegal immigrant, a Haitian illegal immigrant, as they're saying. Well, a lot of people aren't saying that, but some are. Again, I don't really want to redact uh, the email, so I'm not going to show all of that, but you got a verifications, that was a breach from... 2019 and then you got a daily motion that was a 2017 breach so we'll do a username search and i think we'll finish this up you know i was looking on facebook i did the username search but i didn't really find much on that at least many accurate hits um i did find some things on facebook like this person said after much much searching i can confirm it wasn't a haitian illegal that ate the cat disappointed uh but actually with 27 year old alexis farrell Kenton, ohio was arrested and yeah. So, what? like, why are you disappointed? Well, there's definitely some misinformation out there, or disinformation, uh, depending on their intent. But listen, Curtis says Haitians eating pets row, who is Alexis T. Leah Farrell. So I found the Trump video. I wanted to find this thing, and uh, sure enough, I just had to uh, do a YouTube search for a pretty disturbing uh, series of words there. But uh, let's check this out. In Springfield... They're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cat. Kamala's like, yeah, okay, Donald. They're eating, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. And this is what's happening in our country. And it's a shame. As far as rallies are concerned, as far as the reason they go is they like what I say. They want to bring our country back. They want to make America great again. It's a very simple phrase, make America great again. She's destroying this country, and if she becomes president... What, they're going to eat the cats more, or...? This country doesn't have a chance of success. Not only success, we'll end up being Venezuela on steroids. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm not even going to go there, but um, there you go. The, the woman's not uh, Haitian or Venezuelan or whatever he's saying, illegal immigrant that eating cats is just someone that clearly did not get the help that she needed in life and has a severe illness and obviously there needs to be consequences and there needs to be a shit ton of meds like pour those friggin meds down her throat there needs to be a hell of a lot of meds but there you have it a little research and you can see that this is just a false narrative being put out by people that love their false narratives i'll leave you with that see you guys in the next one hit that like button for me have a good night go Go hug your pet.